Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to create a sudo user on CentOS and Ubuntu. So prerequisites, uh, number one, a system running CentOS on Ubuntu. Number two, uh, we need to use the root user or a user with the sudo privileges in the terminal. So the main steps, are we going number one, we are going to add in new users and set the passwords for these users. Number two, we're going to add the new user to the sudo groups. Number three, modify the sudo configuration files. Number four, and finally, uh, we're just going to test these users uh, with uh, sudo commands. From my CentOS machine, I opened uh, the terminal. I'm using the root uh, user. So step number one, I'm just going to type in add user to add my user that I want to give the root privilege to. So add user and the username, so new user. That's my username. Uh, next, I want to add the, uh, set up the password. So pass wd space and uh, type in the username that you created in the first step. So new user. Uh, this will give you the prompt to um, enter your new uh, the new password. So enter your password. Um, then retype new password. And here it says all authentication tokens updated successfully. So next, I want to add the user that I created to the sudo group. Um, by default, CentOS um, have a group called wheel. Uh, so, and the member of the wheel group are automatically granted sudo privileges. Uh, so adding the user to this group is a quick uh, way to grant sudo privileges to the user. Uh, so we're going to add the user to the group however before adding that uh, user to the group uh, i want to check something which is uh, checking if the um, the wheel group is in effective mode or it's enabled by accessing to the sudo configuration file so from the terminal type in vi sudo and this is the configuration um, sudo configuration uh, file scroll down almost down there we see the um, this part here allow people in the group wheel you see the group name wheel to run all commands okay and it's in, it's enabled if you see the pound to let's say if you see pounds key obviously this means it's uh, not enabled and you need to remove the marks so here if you see something like this it means the the group is not the command itself is not effective in the configuration folder so you need to delete the pound uh, signs uh, to make it working so now uh, it's working you can hit on or wq to write and quit and now we know that the group is good to go uh, now let's type in the command that we need to create uh, the command to add the user to the wheel group so type in user mod space dash a capital g and then the group name which is wheel that's the group name we're looking for then the username so new user that we created hit enter and now the new user account should be part of the wheel group so now um we can switch let's switch to the user uh by typing su uh, which is substitute uh, user command space dash and new user the username that you created and we are if you see here it's switched from user um, from the root account to the new user account on our machine. Um, now let's try to check or run the run a, a sudo command and see if it's working. So sudo. I'm going to list the root directory. So sudo list dash li space 
I can list the root directory and check if it's working. As you see here, we trust you have received the usual lecture from local system admin. And this is uh, a great power. With a great power comes a great responsibility. And type in the password for this user. And here we go. We see the root directory listed, all the files and folders. And it means that this user has now access to all commands. Now, we can also check uh, the group. So running uh, group groups and the uh, new user. So if you see here, uh, I typed in groups and the username, the user account. And I see here that the new user account that I created is part of the new user group and the wheel group. And that should be it. Uh, second method, we do have an alternative way to add user to the sudo as a sudo file, uh, sudo user, is by adding the user to the sudoers configuration file. And we, uh, for any reason, if you have a problem with the wheel group, or admin policy prevents uh, you from creating or modifying the groups. Uh, we're going to add it directly to the sudoers configuration file. Uh, so, using the root accounts from Cent on CentOS, type in vi sudo again, and here uh, i for insert. And if you see the file, go scroll down. Uh, we um, uh, deleted the pound uh, the pound signs to make the wheel effective let's say put it back here and save let's switch sub uh, switch the user to the new user we created right now this is the user uh, that the new user is part of the uh, let's see if it's still part of the group uh, called wheel so new user yes it is part of the wheel group which is the pseudo group now we should run some sudo command as we did uh, pre previously. So if we run uh, sudo lists uh, the root directory, we should see it. And here, let's put the password. And as you see this message now, it says a new user is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. It's uh, not working. Okay, so this is a problem with the group. Uh, so going back to the roots, now I'm in the roots. Open the, uh, the open the sudo or configuration uh, file. Scroll down. So we're not going to play with the group here anymore. Uh, keep it with the pound sign. So allow a uh, root to run any commands anywhere. We see the root uh, user added here. Let me put my new user actually. So I for insert. So now I'm going actually to add the new user. So type in the username. So new user space. So all uh, equal and then all similar to the root, same format. And here I'm going to simply type in all. And that should be it. So now the new user is going to be allowed as the root. So similar to the root account. Hit on escape, semicolon, wq for right and quit. And now let's switch and test. Switch to the new user. Now we are in the new user account. And let's type in sudo list with li option and root directory to check now ask us for the password so again there's a problem and here we go we see it's listed successfully and that should be it this is the second method we can do if we have a problem uh, working with the groups now I'm going to create a sudo user on Ubuntu system. So open the terminal. 
then make sure you are uh, logged in with a root user or account with uh, sudo privileges uh, now I'm going to add uh, or create the user uh, so sudo and then add user and then the name of the account or user so the password and here it's going to ask for information for this account I'm going to leave it blank for now and now I have my user created Next, I want to add the user I created or the account uh, to the sudo group on Ubuntu. Uh, so Ubuntu is having a uh, the group called sudo, and this group grant the uh, the new user elevated privileges. So I'm going to type in command uh, sudo uh, space uh, user mode space dash ag space uh, sudo and the username uh, that account and here we go that's the command now uh, we can check uh, or verify the use that the user it's belonged to the sudo group by typing groups space and the username and if you check here uh, the new user now it's part of the sudo And finally, we can test or verify the sudo access for this user uh, by uh, typing uh, su to switch the user to our user uh, new user. Type in the password. And now I'm in my uh, new user uh, account. Uh, and now I want to check the sudo access. If I want to list the home directory for my user account, new user account, I'm gonna type in list home, and I see there is no problem. However, what about if I list the root directory? Yes, I see permission denied. And in order to solve this, since our user is part of the new user is part of the group sudo, I'm going to type in sudo to give me uh, elevated uh, privileges. Uh, then I'm going to list uh, the root directory and see yes now it's working and that should be it for this method now I do also want to show you another and final method on Ubuntu uh, by adding the by modifying the sudo configuration file uh, so using uh, a root account or account with uh, escalated or elevated privileges i'm going to type in sudo and i'm going to access the sudo configuration file and here um, we see this command uh, this comment user privilege uh, specification we see the root added let me add the user i created so new user space all and here equal and I'm going to use the same formats from the top and space all and now I'm going to click control X and yes to save the file and now I should have um, my a new uh, new user uh, with uh, pseudo privileges but that should be it for this tutorial um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you so much for watching talk to you next time bye